Buffalo football fans, I'm here at Grand Valley State University with head coach, Coach Booster. On Saturday at 3 p.m., yep. you guys will play West Florida right here at Lubber Stadium, a top team from the Gold South versus a top team in the GLIAC. How pumped are you for this out-of-conference matchup? Super, super excited. This is something that um, we've been working on. There was a few years back that uh, GLIAC and Gulf South got together a little bit, um, but really been working on getting uh, some coordination between these two conferences. Um, very similar conferences, uh, great football. Um, when you take a look at the top four or five teams in the Gulf South, obviously in the GLIAC, um, there's a lot, there's a tremendous amount of similarity, right? Yeah. So really excited about this matchup. Hopefully we can keep it going mm -hmm. um, between GLIAC and Gulf South and expand on it. Your running back room is very strong this season. What elements of the run game has your team been focusing on this past week? Yeah, um, obviously love the production and the coolest part about it is the collaboration and kind of the complimentary nature of those guys. Yes. Um, Khalil Eikenberg is starting it off and then Kenneth Jones, David Holloman, D, D. Woods, Derek Woods has gotten in there. Um, love that part of it, but obviously there's something going on up in front of them too, right? Offense line, tight ends, um, quarterbacks. Um, wide receivers, tremendous energy blocking down the field to create some of those explosive runs. So just love the team element of it and just continue to uh, reach our, just continue to grow in that, right? Yeah. Avery Moore is leading your team at quarterback this year. Last weekend, he unfortunately did not play yep. due to a hip injury. Tell us how he has affected your offense this year and what you expect to see from him on Saturday. Well, the coolest thing about Avery is he's dominated his role over the last couple of years, right? He was a short, he started out as kind of like the short yardage goal line guy and then started evolving more. But Cade Peterson was the guy, right? Um, so this year, the big thing was how quickly does he grow into that, that role, mm -hmm. um, being the every down guy, being the, being the guy. Um, and from week one to week two saw exponential growth, right? And then obviously last week I hampered a little bit, um, continued to see the growth in practice. And then um, Ike Yudengu comes in and plays phenomenally in the first uh, couple drives. Uh, had a chance to play four quarterbacks. Alex Stoll finishes off and does some great things. So love where Avery's at and his development into kind of the guy. But uh, I think the competition's great in that room. And then you saw that last Saturday with Ike and Alex particularly and Vinny coming in and, and making some really good throws too. So excited about uh, the entire room and obviously Avery's growth. You guys are one of the top D2 programs in the nation. West Florida last week lost West Alabama in double overtime. They're going to be hungrier than yeah. ever for this win. Yeah. What is your plan to ensure that you know you guys are ready for the challenge? Your, your team is going to come out on this field and make a statement against the Argos. Yeah, and it's it's huge to to start fast, right? And uh, that's kind of a kind of been a deal that uh, we've we've been able to stand on is get a fast start offensively, defensively, kicking game. Um, get the complementary nature and the synergy of those three units playing off of one another. Um, and then I think something that we just got to do a better job of is, is staying on it, right? Yeah. Um, even week one, um, really good performance, but there was times where we, we dipped down. Week two, got off to a great start and then kind of took the foot off the gas uh, a little bit. And then obviously last week, got off to a great start and then just uh, went through the motions a little bit there in the second quarter. So. Uh, get off to a great start, and then, yeah, continue to press on, continue to press. Quarterback for West Florida, Marcus Stokes, is an offensive weapon. Yeah. What have you guys been doing to prepare for him? Uh, extremely, extremely talented guy, and um, he's got some great pieces around him. That's a, a heck of a talented football team. Um, uh, lost some starters from last year's team, but they've reloaded with some incredible talent. Offensive line put together through the portal. Um, but big, strong, powerful offensive line, athletic. Uh, got some wide receivers that can really go on the outside. Got that running back back there. So you talk about Marcus, but yeah, I mean, that whole unit is, uh, is extremely powerful, extremely explosive. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've got to be us and we've got to play great defense right out the gate. Mm -hmm. Another player that I'm sure has come up in the film room is Virgil Lemons. He had 147 yards on two returns that first week. How do you guys plan on containing his speed? Yeah, no, and it's, uh, you know, he's a guy in the secondary too that um, is around the ball a lot. Um, great football player, great athlete. And again, yeah, I mean, you've got to be every single week, but when you have a guy like that, let's make sure um, starts with the snap and the kick, get the ball up in the air, get yeah. some hang time, allow our guys to cover, and then be disciplined in our coverage lanes and down the football when we have an opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. We have a home game right here at Lover Stadium. Yeah. This is no easy place to play for opposing teams. How do you think having the home field advantage will help your team for this game on Saturday? Oh, it's it's big. Um, obviously, no place like home, but then when you talk about Lover Stadium, you talk about Laker Nation, you talk about our students, 
Um, our fans, it's been it's been awesome. We've played two home games so far, and both are over 13, 14,000. I think 15,000 last week. Um, they're here early. They're loud. So, Laker Nation, you mean a lot to us. Uh, that support is huge. So, see you at three. Rain uh, could be a little bit, you know, precipitation, but uh, but we we're Lakers, right? Um, love to get wet. So let's uh, let's get on out here and uh, yeah, be behind us. Anything else you want to add about this matchup for Saturday? No, just again, uh, like right with the open, just how excited we are. Golf South, uh, awesome football program. I think there's some similarities between our two programs, right? They started in 2015 or 2016, right? Won a national championship. Very unique. We started in 1970, only been playing for 50 years. So newer, younger programs. Um, when you watch the tape, very similar styles of play, uh, both offensively, defensively, and special teams. So um, love all that about it. Been texting back and forth with their head coach and um, you know, praying for them right now with the Hurricanes. A lot of families down there, um, you know, hopefully uh, get through this thing. You know, obviously uh, Pensacola area should be pretty good. It's, it's yeah. east of there, but uh, I'm praying for those families. Um, that, uh, you know, no tragedy there, but I've uh, been texting back and forth with the coach and uh, really excited about this matchup. Awesome. Thank Best. you so much, Coach. Thanks, Nicole. Best, Best of luck on Saturday. You bet. Thank you.